Hello Capricorns and happy birthday to you guys. Welcome to your next January love reading. Um, this will be for Capricorns, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, Venus arising. And those of you who are cross watchers connected to Capricorns, this can resonate for you as well. If you would like to apply this to any other placements in your chart, such as your Saturn, your Jupiter, your Mars, you absolutely can. I tend to find that my readings resonate um, I mean, I'm sorry that readings resonate most with me, not just mine. My readings resonate most with me when I'm uh, watching for my moon or even my rising, which is the same as my sun. So, um, yeah, check out whatever placement works for you. We are going to get into it to see what's going on in your love life and what's coming in. All right. So let's see what's going on. For Capricorns, what's going on in your love life currently? What's going on in Capricorn's love life? Page of Swords, okay? You've got a, a, a watcher, somebody checking you out. Um, You've got somebody very interested here. Temperance, possibly a Sagittarius. Gemini is also here. What's going on in Capricorn's love life? King of Cups in reverse, Okay. What's going on in Capricorn's love life? I have the Ace of Swords in reverse. Um, what's going on in your love life, Capricorn? The Emperor. Um, okay, so there could be a relationship in your life ending with the world here, okay? Um, it does feel like there is something ending that that uh King of King of Cups in reverse, that Ace of Swords in reverse. It feels like um there was somebody you were connected to where you felt very powerless, right, in how you dealt with them. And you're just now starting to reestablish your power when it comes to love. This can resonate if you are single or if you are connected. So there is somebody here that's interested in that that's interested in you. You could be interested in why is this page of swords here? Because I'm almost picking up that somebody is on standby waiting for you. Um because you have some some things you got to close up with the world here. And I feel like that's happening with temperance. That's letting me know that divine timing is taking a place um, in your love life. And things haven't jumped off because they weren't supposed to. And now it feels like there's something closing out. Leo, there's a Leo very invested and very interested in you. Um, there's somebody here that has been watching you that finds you very attractive, very sexy here. This person has a, a, a um, they have the potential to be very passionate about you. OK, somebody that they are going to um, take care of, somebody that it feels like you're dealing with somebody who wants you. Yes, physically, but this person also has a strong desire to be your protector. Someone wants to look after you, the emperor. This is the second emperor that's shown up in your reading so far. So it feels like this person is your divine counterpart, right? Um, I do feel like there's been some patience on your part, temperance. You may have felt like it wasn't the right time to go into some sort of connection. You wanted to keep things pretty casual in that page of swords um, energy. You're still learning them. You're still getting to know them. Temperance with the Page of Cups, you're developing a friendship. This feels like feelings are developing over time. Your feelings for them, their feelings for you, okay? Um, what's happening in your love life now that I'm looking at this King of Cups in reverse, I feel like uh, somebody is not able to really handle what they feel, for someone. So you are not really able to handle the intensity of what you're starting to feel for this person or this person is having a difficult time handling the intensity of what they feel for you. This King of Cups in reverse is somebody who cannot control their emotions, okay? This is somebody who has not mastered discipline and now we have it in reverse. So it's in between. So you're dealing with somebody that you either, you drive them crazy, okay? This person teeters between, you know, um, um, the feelings of jealousy and wanting you all to themselves and also feelings of wanting you to be free and, and wanting to love you, but wanting you to be you, you know, um, 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 um loving you for who you are, but also wanting you all the time. There's something about this person. They have a tendency, like they need to sometimes pull back. 
Okay. That's how intensely this person loves, right? Um, they, they have a tendency to go all in when it comes to their love. They love very hard. All right. And I feel like this person doesn't want to scare you off Capricorn. Um, you could be really intensely feeling someone to the point where you don't want to scare them off showing them, you know, your emotional side. I don't want to say too soon because I feel like you know this person. I feel like there's been something developing between you and this person with these pages here and these kings coming out. It's like somebody has been, you know, accepting that. Yeah, we're friends or yeah, we're casual right now, but I feel a whole lot more than what you know. So there's a strong um, love feeling coming through. Somebody, um, I'm not picking up a secret crush energy. Like, you know, this person, there's a knowing with the King of Cups, there's intuition involved. You know how this person feels about you. You are not naive to this at all. You know exactly how this person feels about you. Um, I also feel like you're equally, you know, loving this person, right? Um, one of you may be more controlled in your emotions than the other, but two King of Cups showing up, that feels like a situation where you both feel the same way about each other. It's just that one of you are far more controlled and disciplined with how you control, handle your feelings. And then the other person is far more expressive, um, far more, uh, maybe touchy, feely, affectionate, that sort of energy. Um, but there's a, a strong energy here that there's somebody here that desires you ace of swords and they haven't said it yet. They haven't spoken their truth to you yet. Why is this ace of swords in reverse? There's not, you don't really know how they feel. Um, they haven't said anything. Yeah. Seven of swords. They've been running from, um, not their feelings. You can't do that, right? You can't really run from your feelings, but you can run from taking action on those feelings. So the person you're connected to Capricorn, um, in this seven of swords energy with the ace of swords in reverse, if they're telling you they don't love you or they don't have feelings for you, they are lying. Okay. Plain and simple. They are lying. If they say they're not in love with you or you are lying to someone when you tell them, yeah, this, let's just stay friends. I'm not really feeling you are feeling this person. Okay. So there is somebody here who is not being truthful about their feelings. Why is the seven of swords here with that uh, ace of swords in reverse? It's the queen of cups not being honest about their feelings. Okay, so it could be you, Capricorn. I'm just going to say, um, we have a king of cups and a queen of cups here. You guys are a true pair. You are a true pair. And I feel like, again, somebody is shyer about what they feel. They're not as confident about what they feel. Look at this person's head down, you know. Um, it's giving me insecure vibes about the, the love feelings. This King of Cups is far more uh, direct and facing us and, and letting us know that this is my intensity. Take a look at it. Don't look away. This person is looking away because you know you will fall completely head over heels for this person. So there could be a, a Capricorn here strategically trying not to focus on what they feel for this person, possibly Scorpio, Pisces, Cancer, Leo, uh, Aries, but it's, it's, it's going to take over, right? Um, these are not feelings that are going to be easy to continue to be dishonest about. Someone is hiding the fact that they actually do love someone here. So someone is in love with you, and not saying it or you're in love with somebody and you feel like it's best to not talk about it, to not express that just yet. That page of source tells me, yeah, somebody could have some trust issues. You want to know, you know, you want to make sure this person is a hundred percent loyal. This person is a hundred percent true before you go into a connection with them. But there are feelings of love here from two people. The feelings feel very mutual. This emperor, um, yeah, I, I do feel like you've been made a fool of in relationships. And so there's something here about being too hard on this person that you truly do love. Ace of Cups, it's just here. It's just showing up. You love this person. You've been hard on them. You know, you, you've, uh, you've, you've given them a rough road here, right? As an emperor, you've been very stern and keeping control of your passions and your desires. And, but you really want this person. 
and you want them bad. And for some of you, Capricorn, there's somebody here who equally wants you just as bad. Okay. You guys want each other the same way, not just physically, but emotionally. So I am speaking to those Capricorns who are most likely in a connection with somebody and you're not sure what's going on. Well, there's a lot of hidden feelings. There's a lot of people not saying what they want to say. There's a lot of people not um, expressing themselves and taking action the way they want to. Um, but I do feel like what's coming in, um, we'll get to what's coming in, but what's happening right now in your love life is you are about to start feeling more confident in the love you have for this person. Someone is accepting that this is actually real. Okay. I didn't think it would happen to me. I didn't think that me and this person would, it would be like that for us, but somebody is starting to accept that this is a real love. This is a true soul connection. All right. So let's see what's coming in for you guys in love. Let's see what's coming in for Capricorns in love. We have the eight of swords. Leo just got this in the same spot. Okay. What's coming in for um, Capricorns in love. We have the Empress. Um, okay. All right. So I'll tell you what I picked up. Death here in a second. Let's see what we have coming in for Capricorns. Four of swords in reverse. Someone is having sleepless nights. Somebody is dreaming about being pregnant by this person. There's the dream of being together. The hangman comes out. Um, yeah, eight of cups. There are some, some loose ends that have to be tied up. That was kind of what I was picking up. You guys are ending something so you can begin something Capricorns. You want to purge yourself of any residual, um, resentment or emotions you may still have for an ex, somebody you recently dealt with because what's starting to take over your system, king of cups, ace of cups, page of cups, king of wands, queen of cups. There's somebody else here that you really love. And you don't want any of that stuff from your ex to, 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 um, conflict with what you, what you got going on with somebody, um, newer. I'm not going to say new, but somebody newer than a past person. So let's see why this eight of swords is here for what's coming in for you in love. What's coming in for Capricorns in love? Um, eight of pentacles. Yeah, this feels like somebody who couldn't give their all because they were still stuck in a situation, i.e. a relationship or still bound to somebody or something. So this feels like um, what's coming in is there is somebody that you have been trying to see what's going on with them, right? Because if they're not expressing themselves, it's kind of difficult to read them. Um, I do feel like this person has true feelings for you, but they're fighting a battle, nine of wands that you don't know about. And it feels like this battle is tied to a past relationship, eight of pentacles. I'm going to be honest. Somebody's here, their person, it's not even about another person. It's about this person has an addiction to money. They're tied to their career. That is very Capricorn. So yes, that could be you, right? Using your career as somewhat of um, intentional distraction away from investing in this person, in this relationship. I feel like time's almost up. It's time to stop doing that. Somebody needs to stop doing that, using their work as an excuse why they can't go on a date with somebody or why they can't invest in somebody because you clearly want them and they clearly want you. Empress here, what's coming in for Capricorns in love? Um, the page of wands here. Uh, yeah, this feels like child. Pages can sometimes represent children. Somebody here is definitely, um, and then we have these cups energies. So, Maybe somebody's starting to have dreams about um, a future with this person, premonitions, okay? It's getting very spiritual here, getting very intense with this connection. You're starting to dream of children with them or dream of a family with them, um, but there is certainly growth here. What's coming in this connection is some sort of um, progress in the relationship. I feel like this page of wands is about um, accepting Somebody feels like you are the most beautiful person they've ever seen. <laughs> okay. Somebody feels like you are the most beautiful person they've ever seen as the empress. There's an emperor here, another true pair. So somebody sees you as the perfect person to have a kid with. Page of, of wands. That's what I'm picking up. You're the perfect person to have a kid with. That's what it is. 
because we got a husband and wife technically here. Parents here. Okay. Also, the more feminine energy is about to start dominating this connection. There's a lot of masculine energy at the top. And basically what that means is anything. So the masculine in the highest energy is about action. It's about initiating, right? But in a low vibrational energy, it's about um, ego and it's about control. So I feel like um, somebody's releasing control here. And allowing their feelings, yeah, allowing their feelings to come out a lot more. Um, what is this death? This is a big change for you. You haven't seen the side, of, this side of this person. Death. What is this? Ten of Pentacles. Yep. Somebody's thinking about a family. That's that's here. Nine of Cups. They want a life with you. They want a future with you. So they are releasing this sort of. Um, low vibrational masculine energy and going to start um, letting the the more feminine, sensitive, receptive energy take over. So that's actually good news. The nine of cups is, this is what you've always needed to see from this person. That's why you have the page of swords. You're like, who is this person, right? One minute they're giving me like, you know, letting me know they're filling me. And then the next minute I'm not hearing from them or something. Maybe not even that you're not hearing from them, but maybe that this person um, has moments where they're far softer and more receptive than other times. So I feel like this person is closing out a cycle, you or them, so that they can start a cycle with this new relationship. Ten of Pentacles, this relationship feels a lot more promising than one from the past. This other one is burnt out. <laughs> Death, Scorpio energy. Somebody, um, Capricorn, you guys may possibly have been dealing with a, a, a um, Scorpio and it was just like not working, but you had security with this person. Y'all lived together. Y'all had a long-term relationship. Um, there's somebody here tempting you or you are tempting this person um to break free break those chains of the past relationship four of swords in reverse um let's see why this is here <clears throat> for capricorns what's coming in love this is actual some sort of action what is this four of swords in reverse king of pentacles this is commitment i'm done sitting on my hands i'm about to commit King of Pentacles here, and somebody is going to get their feelings hurt. So for those of you who know you're in a third party, or even those of you who don't know, mainly for those of you that know, because you'll know the situation. Yes, they have a an ex or somebody that they hadn't closed that door on that is about to end. Okay. Somebody is going to be hurt and it doesn't feel like you. This person feels like they're putting another situation to rest so that they can commit here so that they can cleanse themselves and make themselves perfect for you. Capricorn, the hangman here. Somebody is clearing out, you know, even symbolically, if this has nothing to do with third parties, people, money, this is somebody is symbolically cleansing their life so that they can have a life with you. Six of pentacles so that they can give to you. Okay. Ten of cups at the bottom of the deck. Leo had that as well. We do have Leo here. So you could be connected to a Leo. Taurus is here. Libra is also here. Um, hangman, six of pentacles. What's coming in for you and love is balance. A balanced relationship. Whereas past relationships, you gave more. There's somebody here that is equal to you. We see that. We had a king of cups with a queen of cups. We had an emperor with an emperor. There's somebody here who is your, your actual equal. Okay, and like I always try to point out about this Six of Pentacles, this person is not giving to more than one person. This person has been lining up their their value, their worth, and waiting to give it to the right person, right? Usually in a Six of Pentacles card, we see somebody giving to two people, two or more people, all right, being very generous with their time and investment. You <laughs> have not given time and energy to anyone that you don't want. And I feel like that's because you're ready. You're about to give your all or somebody is about to give their all to you, right? The hangman, Pisces energy, Pisces season can be very significant for your connection. I feel like somebody is going to get a big gift from their person um, during Pisces season, all right? 
So that is what I have for you, Capricorns. Thank you so much for tuning in, guys. Don't forget to hit the like and subscribe. And if you're interested in a personal reading with me, make sure you check out the details in the description box. Talk to you soon.